Hey, you went flying, baby, spur. Hey, you went drive around the world. Hey, you went grind like a squirrel. Hey, you went shitting nail pearls. Hey, you went Rolls Royce car. Hey, you went Rolls Royce truck. Oh, you want to wall all my hoes. Oh, you want to line it all up. Hey, I'm going to play it how it is. Hey, I've been playing for some years. Hey, you trying to steal all the spill. Hey, I'm in the field. None of Welcome to my channel everyone, my name is Aaliyah. In today's video, I'm going to share my current weekly hair care wash day routine and how I braid my natural type 4 hair with no heat. I've tried so many hair products and brands in the past that I can officially share with you exactly what I use in my natural hair routine for the best results after wash day. My hair resets make me feel so rejuvenated and relaxed, so I like to braid my hair weekly. Keep on watching to see exactly how I maintenance and style my natural hair on wash day with no added heat. I start my hair routine by cleansing. I'm currently using one by OGX and it smells amazing. I'm also using a strengthening conditioner by the same brand. There's nothing significant about this conditioner. For deep conditioner, I'm going in with the intensive conditioner from Pattern by Tracy Ellis Ross. It is one of my absolute favorites. I will be rebuying it and it's perfect for detangling. I love this shampoo because as you can see it forms a nice lather and leaves my hair feeling clean without shipping it dry. I'm spraying my hair with water until it's fully saturated. This step is really important since I'm not blow drying my hair like I normally would. I realized water really softens my hair, hydrates it, and makes it more manageable, so there's no pulling or ripping when I braid. The next step I immediately go in with is the It's a 10 Keratin Leave-In Treatment. My hair is a bit heat damaged from how I styled it during my birthday last year, so I use this regularly to strengthen it, but this also has 10 benefits including taming frizz, detangling, adding shine, hydration, and it even protects against heat. I will have everything that I used linked in the description box. I got this from Amazon. For a leave-in conditioner, I'm using the Strengthen and Restore one by Shea Moisture. I apply this all over from my scalp to the ends. Now, I use a lot of leave-in conditioner and I know some people won't like that, but my hair absorbs product instantly and this leaves it moisturized and feeling soft. This also smells really good by the way. I went to Sephora the other day and one of the employees said I smelled fresh and fruity. I realized she described exactly what this product smells like. So I searched up what oils are best for restoring damaged hair and found that jojoba oil is one of the best. It like mimics the natural oils your body produces, replaces lost lipids, and overall is super repairing. I'm using an extra penetrating argan oil formulated for dry and coarse hair by the same brand as my shampoo, OGX. I feel like this does not just sit on top of my hair but actually soaks in. Now I'm in the process of detangling my hair. Shedding is normal, especially if your hair has been in a protective or low maintenance style. I didn't really show the camera which gel I'm using. But it's called Braid Formula, and I found it at my local beauty supply store. I apply gel only on the roots. I don't like applying gel on the ends of my hair because it can be drying and my hair is already super dry all the time. I've tried a lot of different hair gels for different uses and different reasons, and Braid Formula is my current favorite. And it's just the one that I've been using lately every time I braid my hair. It has a strong hold, lets me grip even the shortest hairs and doesn't flake or leave a residue. My only critique is I wish it had a shinier finish because that wears off after like a day or two. But my hair still stays in place and does not move. I always start by leaving out the front of my hair, as you can see here. I do this to reduce tension on my hairline and making this a habit helped my edges grow and become thicker. It's also my trick for making your braids look neater and more long lasting. And I just add gel and just use my comb to kind of like keep my edges out of the way and to the side while I braid. 
I have high porosity hair, it dries extremely quickly, so I'm spraying it again with water so that when I start braiding, it's a lot easier. This part is hard to explain, but the best tip I can give is to practice, especially on yourself, because each time I braid, I get better. For to find neat, flat braids, you can see I'm taking the smallest amounts of hair possible every time I reach to add hair in. I make sure to do this the whole way down. A mistake I made in the past was trying to add too much at a time in an attempt to finish the braid faster because that just made the braid look uneven, loose, and not as neat. You can see that my hair is separating super easily. There's no resistance. I'm not ripping or pulling. Even if it looks super harsh or like I'm being aggressive with my hair, I'm really not. I'm being really gentle. And because of all the products that I used earlier, the leave-in conditioner, the oils, it's just super moisturized and more manageable, which is why I can achieve this without using heat in a blow dryer and any unnecessary tension. When I reach the end of the braid, I use the same Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner from earlier instead of gel because the ends of your hair are the oldest part. So I want to keep them moisturized to boost elasticity and reduce breakage. And I absolutely love this leave-in conditioner. As I mentioned earlier, it smells amazing and it also has castor oil in it and a lot of great ingredients. Anytime I see stray strands, I just sip it off to keep my hair thick and even, but that part is completely optional. You don't have to cut your hair every time you braid it, but that's just what I've been doing. This step is optional. You can just be done at this point. I'm using a hair mousse. I don't know the specific name or brand of this one, but it's specifically for setting styles and like styling hair. And I never did it when I first started braiding, but I do it now because I find it sets the style. I'm spraying the mousse down with your typical olive oil sheen spray. I saw someone do this on TikTok, so I wanted to try it out. I'm not sure if hairspray really makes a difference, I'm drying everything. You can literally do this without heat or on a cool setting and I suggest leaving your hair wrapped for at least 30 minutes or overnight. And this is the end result a few days in. You can see there's no frizz and it still looks neat. I typically style it by tying a bun in the back for a super sleek low bun type of look. Sometimes I'll do feed in braids, which is just adding hair in to make them longer. I already made a video on that, which I will link if you're interested. And thank you so much for watching.